as we continue this uh, 100 day devotional on uh, based on Isaiah 35 on day four we're going to be looking at streams in the desert and uh, in Isaiah 35 6 to 7 it says for waters shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert Isaiah 35 6 7 really represents a vivid image of hope and renewal water bursting forth in the wilderness and streams flowing in the desert the desert a place of barrenness isolation and lack of life is transformed by the presence of a living life living giving water water in the bible often symbolizes the presence of god his spirit and his ability to sustain and restore life in the ancient near east where deserts were common this imagery would have been especially meaningful. See, deserts are known for their harsh conditions, where water is scarce and life struggles to survive. Yet here, God promises to provide streams in the desert, something seemingly impossible, a miraculous sign of his power to bring life and renewal even to the most barren of places. The waters bursting forth symbolises the renewal God brings to those who are spiritually dry, exhausted or feeling disconnected. And just as physical water is essential for sustaining life in a desert, so too is God's presence um, essential for spiritual growth, renewal and vitality. See, Isaiah speaks not only of a physical restoration, but also of a spiritual revival. And God's power to bring water to the uh, to the desert symbolizes his ability to bring life to the spiritually dry to restore hope and to renew his people water as a symbol of god's presence is found throughout scripture in john 4:14, 4, jesus refers to himself as the source of living water saying whoever drinks uh, the water i give them will never thirst." and in ezekiel 47 water flows from the temple symbolizing the life-giving presence of God that restores everything it touches. And this theme of water is constantly tied to the idea of renewal, restoration, and the sustaining power of God's Spirit. In Isaiah 35, this imagery of streams bursting forth in the desert emphasizes that God's renewal often comes in the most unexpected places. The wilderness and the desert can symbolise the spiritual dryness we experience in life. The seasons where we feel far from God, drained or lacking in purpose. But Isaiah's prophecy reminds us that even in those dry and difficult seasons, God can bring renewal. The water that flows in the desert represents God's spirit bringing revival and refreshing to our souls, even when we feel most barren. So Isaiah's message is one of hope. God does not leave us in our spiritual deserts. His presence is like a life-giving stream, providing what is necessary for growth, healing and restoration. And the streams in the desert serve as a reminder that God is a faithful to provide, even in the most unlikely of places, and that his presence brings life where there was once only dryness and desolation. So the image of water bursting forth in the desert also applies to the concept of koinia, fellowship with God and others. And just as the water brings life to the dry land, fellowship brings life to our spirits. So in true koinia, we share in the life-giving presence of God together. We are called to be vessels through which God's living water flows refreshing one another, nurturing and spiritual growth to those around us. So in Koinia, we are not meant to walk alone in the deserts. When we gather together in fellowship, God often uses the community of believers to bring refreshing streams into each of our lives. Through prayer, encouragement and acts of service and shared experiences, we become conduits of God's grace and renewal to those who are weary and this mutual refreshment strengthens the body of Christ and deepens our relationship with one another 
See, koinia involves sharing not only in the joys of life, but also in the struggles. When we recognise that someone in our community is going through a season of spiritual dryness, we can become like a stream in the desert, offering them encouragement, support and prayer. God often uses fellowship as a means by which he refreshes and strengthens his people. And the living water of God's spirit flows through us to refresh others, just as we, in turn, are refreshed by the encouragement and support of others. So in what ways can we be refreshing streams to someone today? Who might need encouragement, prayer or a kind word from you? As believers, we are called to carry the living water of God's presence into the lives of others, offering them hope, renewal and the assurance of God's love. So let's think about people in our lives who may be going through this season of dryness. Maybe they feel disconnected from God, discouraged by life's uh, circumstances or simply weary. How can you, how can we be a source of refreshment to them? And this might look like sending an encouraging message, offering a prayer to them or simply being present with them during their difficult time. Additionally, if you are in a season of spiritual dryness, consider how God might be inviting you to seek out fellowship from others. Sometimes God uses the people around us to bring refreshment we need. So don't hesitate to reach out in prayer, support and encouragement from your community of faith. So Lord, we thank you for the refreshing streams of your presence. Even in the midst of spiritual dryness, you bring life and renewal. Help us to be the source of encouragement to others that they may experience your life-giving spirit through our fellowship and let your living water flow through us and as we serve and encourage those around us and let us be strengthened in our walk with you. Amen. Isaiah 35, 6-7 offers a profound image of God's power to bring renewal and life even in the midst of barren, most barren places. The streams in the desert represent God's presence, bringing healing, restoration and hope to those spiritually dry in us. As we reflect on this imagery, we are reminded that God is always at work, even in our wild wilderness seasons, bringing his life-giving spirit to refresh and sustain us. So in the context of Koinir, this renewal of is shared among believers. We are called to be the vessels of God's living water, offering encouragement, prayer and support to those who are weary. As we refresh one another in fellowship, we participate in the work of God's Spirit, bringing life and hope to our community. Just as streams in the desert transform barren landscapes, so too God's presence transforms our hearts, relationships and fellowship.